Welcome back to Box Hype. I'm Eric, and this is the BAM Box for September 2017. The BAM Box is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. The, there's stuff in, in these boxes that you just don't find anywhere else, like autographs, um, props, replicas, that kind of thing. Um, not a lot of uh, toys you can go buy at Walmart, and, you know, like some of the boxes do. So. If you're not a BAM box subscriber, I recommend getting it. It's, it's a really good one to start with. This particular box this month for September 2017, there are six different franchises, including Star Wars, The Goonies, Deadpool, The Watchmen, The Defenders, and Space Ghost. So let's open her up and see what we get. I cut the tape ahead of time just to save. I have to watch that. familiar things in there already. Well, the Watchmen one is pretty obvious. It's a patch. Hello. And I'm not a big patch fan. I know a lot of people collect them, but it's still pretty cool looking. I wish the movie were better. <laughs> the pin this month, Space Ghost. I believe this is probably going to be the common one, but I'll find out in a moment. The box here. That, that is awesome. This doesn't look familiar to you. It's from the Goonies. The kids use it to uh, find the treasure. They look the holes on a on the uh, pirate ma map they find in that picture in the attic. Yeah, that's awesome. It's got weight to it too, it's metal. It's pretty intricate. If I can get a good view here for you. I like that a lot. I have to figure out how to display that. <laughs> I can tell what this is already. Just in time for Halloween or Comic-Con, you too can be Deadpool. Wow, it's actually made pretty well. It has a lot higher quality than the El Nacho Libre mask we got a couple months ago. That is cool. It's got the little point on the back of the hood and everything. You know what would be fun? Put this on a mannequin head and use it as a headphone stand. That would be pretty neat. I like that. First print. Autographed. It's the Defenders. It's hard to beat the glare. Who is this by? This print of the Defenders is signed by artist Nadine Castex. Okay, Nadine cast eggs. Pretty cool. Last thing we have here is BB-8, Star Wars autograph. Who is that? Um, this 8x10 BB-8 photo has been hand signed by Brian Herring. It was signed during a private signing with the BAM box. Brian Herring, who is that? I've got to find out. A Star Wars photo of BB-8 signed by the little tiny man that rode inside of the suit during the filming of the... No. Okay, that's, that's not right. That is not the tiny little man that rode around in the, in the suit. It was the puppeteer that controlled the remote control during the movie. Hello. And all of the picture is awesome looking. Why would we want an autograph of someone using a remote control? <laughs> um, it doesn't hardly seem like autographed material to me. I like the picture, but, you know. Now what's next? Are we going to get the, uh, the guy that painted the hatch on the Millennium Falcon to sign a picture for us? Um, I know they can't get big stars all the time. It's just not in the limits of how much the band box costs. But um, 
this one wasn't my favorite. No one-ups in this box. Maybe next time. That means this Space Ghost pin was was the common, like I thought. There are three variants of the pin. The little ship is the 500, and the rare one, only 250. That is cool. I would love to have had that one. Of course, we all would, wouldn't we? The Prince. rare one is a metallic print of VB8. The colorful one. That's actually pretty neat. I don't like to have seen that in person. The other one has Ray. I suppose they're all probably signed by the puppeteer. I don't know. The Goonies medallion is a winner in this box to me. That, that's just awesome. That'll be a, a good piece to display. Makes me want to watch the movie again, too. You know, I even wore my shirt for this occasion, because I knew there was a Goonies item in the box. Great, okay, well the art prints, there were a couple of variants, too. The Defender, we got the common one. There were two other ones that might have been a little more rare, I guess. The black and white one's probably the rare one in the back. And despite that unusual autograph, I like the box a lot. <laughs> even though I won't be wearing this around too much, I think that's, that's pretty awesome, and it's made really well. All right, well, it's time for the value check. Let's see how we did. The Deadpool mask, $4.99. The common Space Ghost pin, $8.99. The Comedian Watchman patch, $5.73. The Goonies Pirate Doubloon, $14.08. The Defenders print common, $14.00. The BB-8 print, zilch. Total value of $47.79. The cost of shipping was $34.98, giving us an extra value of $12.81. It's a joke. It's all a joke. That's how you...